to another episode of the American Dream TV here in the Mile High City. I'm Maylinda. And I'm Kalena. And today we're going to show you one of our newest listings. This is really one of those rare homes built in 1937 where the past really does rewrite the future. This spectacular former ranch style farmhouse sits on over a half acre of gorgeous grounds within a community that sold out to developers in the late 1990s. Do you have any idea what an average home cost in 1937? Oh my gosh, probably 10,000? <laughs> you know what, it's actually just over 4,000. Wow. So the median home price now in the highlands at Piney Creek are, gosh, with a half acre in the city, it's just over 600,000. That's awesome. You know, this is a great place to raise a family. It's quiet, it's serene. They have some of the best schools in Colorado. It really is. You know, the homeowner actually is here. So let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what the inspiration for recreating this beauty was. Well, the original owner of this property owned 28 acres that he sold in the late 1990s to the developer, and uh, it became the Highlands of Piney Creek. So that this is, is the original home. So amazing! I love the stories. Houses really are about stories. It's about energy, not just about a brick and mortar. So um, as we walk through, if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit more about your inspiration, that would be amazing. Absolutely. But the original house is all poured concrete which is interesting. This house isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Not anywhere at all. We've got the original fireplace to the house over there that we refurbished Such and Such charm. Updated. This house has so much charm. Now let me show you my kitchen. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Wow, this is charming. It looks like it's chef inspired. Absolutely, I used to uh, be a chef at the Brown Palace and uh, Sodexo Marriott and a lot of other places. But you know what, you actually brought some of the charm of the 30s and brought it into, you know, the current century. I mean, this uh, pine wood and it looks like it's tongue and groove and you know, it this is. really is very Colorado, so very, very smart. Wanted to ask you about this, is this working? It is, a functional radiator. We have a boiler and radiators for heating a house and uh, this one was refinished uh, a few years ago. It's just gorgeous, just gorgeous. I love everything you did about it. And then the windows all along here brought, really brought the outdoors inside. And what yeah. was the idea there? We really wanted this to highlight the pond outside and be able to bring that into our kitchen so that when you're sitting at the bar, you can look out uh, with your morning coffee and watch the sun come What a up great idea. You know what? You guys have not left one little thing unturned. This literally is like a park. I bet your neighbors are so jealous. They are. <laughs> Maybe they a little are. envious, I don't know. <laughs> you know, this area actually out here would be just spectacular at the end of the evening. and maybe sit and have a glass of wine or Absolutely. I bet you guys do that all the time, don't you? We do. <laughs> Well, since we were at that gorgeous park-like yard, I thought I'd bring you to Centennial Center Park, which is an award-winning 11-acre park, which is absolutely free and just such a great place to bring the family. This park includes an amphitheater, splash pad and fountains, a state-of-the-art playground, which features climbing walls and a treehouse. It also includes picnic shelters. This park also offers a variety of free events for the community throughout the year. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this segment on the American Dream TV. We do look forward to seeing you again next time.